Greetings, boys and girls. It is now time for Math Workshop. We're having fun learning Math Day. Math Day is fun. We learn from our success. We learn from everyone. We're having fun learning Math Day. Math Day is fun. We learn from our success. We learn from everyone. We're learning to think. Think today. Thinking today is fun. Thinking helps us solve problems. Solving problems helps everyone. We're learning to think. Think today. Thinking today is fun. Thinking helps us solve problems. Solving problems helps everyone. Boys and girls, can you read our learning target with me today? I can add within 1,000 using place value strategies, and I can explain my calculations to others. Great job, boys and girls. We've been using the base 10 block strategy, boys and girls, for the past couple of days. Solving problems with ones, cubes, tens, rods, and hundred squares. Today, we're going to practice subtracting using the expanded form strategy. Remember, expanded form is when you stretch out a number like a rubber band. So you can see the ones place number, tens place number, and hundreds place numbers all by themselves. Remember, after you're finished calculating your answer, the number bounces back into standard form. But first, let's look at the problem you solved yesterday. Boys and girls, you had 582 plus 159. Here I put all of the ones, tens, and hundreds blocks and squares onto the map for both numbers. Can you help me count to see if we need to regroup? Here we go. Let's start with the ones because the ones are number one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, remember boys and girls, 10 is that magic number. Whenever you have 10 of something, like 10 ones or 10 tens, you circle them, cross them out, and then move them to the next place value. How many ones do we have left over, boys and girls? That's right, just one. So that's our ones place answer. Now, let's count the tens. Help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we can stop right there, boys and girls. Circle, cross out, and move those ten tens. Turn them into a hundred squared because ten tens equals a hundred. Now let's count and see how many tens rods we have left. Help me count. One, two, three, four. Boys and girls, your tens place answer should have been four. Now let's add the hundreds place. Don't forget the one we drew. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Our hundreds place number is seven, boys and girls, which means our final answer is 741. Is that the answer you got? If not, solve the problem again so that you can fix your mistake. If so, pat yourself on the back. Now this is what your explanation should look like. My equation was 582 plus 159 equals 741. First, I added two ones and nine ones, and my answer was 11 ones. Next, I regrouped 10 ones and moved them to the tens place. There was one left over in the ones place. Then, I added eight tens five tens and the one tens that I regrouped. My answer was 14. That was too many tens, so I regrouped 10 tens into 100. There were four tens left over in the tens place. 
Last, I added my hundreds to get 700. My final answer was 741. Boys and girls, your explanation look, should look something like this. Today, our problem is 641 minus 285, and we're using the expanded form strategy. Remember, boys and girls, we always identify the place value of each number first, so we won't get confused as to how many hundreds, tens, and ones we have, and we can keep them together according to their place value. Boys and girls, 641 would turn into 600 plus 40 plus 1. Yes, we are subtracting these numbers, but when we stretch out a number like a rubber band into expanded form, remember, that rubber band is going to snap back in place. That means we have to add these numbers back up again to show our final answer. So we always add when we're using expanded form in between the numbers, even if it's a subtraction problem. 285 will turn into 200 plus 80 plus 5. After that, boys and girls, we want to make sure we write our subtraction sign and draw a line that separates our equation from the answer. Now remember, boys and girls, we always want to start with the ones place numbers first. Always look at the number at the top of the equation. One minus five. Boys and girls, if you hold up one finger or maybe draw one ones cube, can you take five away from that? No, you can't. We need to get that one to be a larger number. Do you remember what we do when we have base 10 blocks? Yes, we regroup. We take a tens and move it over and break it up into the ones place. We're going to do the same thing here, boys and girls. Let's go to our tens place number, right next to the one. We have 40. Now let's think. If you have 40, that's four tens, and you take one away, how many tens are left? That's right, 30. So let's cross out the 40, change it to a 30. Now, remember that tens place rod is going to be broken up next to that ones place number when we're using base 10 blocks. But in expanded form, we're going to take that tens that we borrowed from the 40 and put it right in front of this one ones. Because it is a 10, and 10 plus one is 11. So our new number is 11 minus five. Boys and girls, 11 minus five. Hmm, I know that five plus five is 10. So one more than 10 is 11, so five plus six is 11. That's a fact family, boys and girls. If I know that five plus six is 11, then that means 11 minus five is also six. It's fun how numbers work together. Now let's move to our tens place numbers. 30 minus 80. Can we take 80 from 30? No, 80 is too large. It's larger than 30. Remember, the larger number in subtraction should always be first. So how can we make the 30 larger? That's right. Go to the hundreds place and regroup a hundreds. So we're going to cross out that 600 and turn it into 500. Are you following along with me? Now, the 100 that we took away from 600 doesn't just disappear. We have to move it in front of the tens place number. Remember, we're making that number larger. So one 
100 needs to go right in front of that 30. Now our new number is 130. So 130 minus 80. Well, let's start with 80 and count up to 130 so we can see what the answer will be. Can you help me count by tens? 80, now move your finger. 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. Boys and girls, that was five fingers or five tens. So that's going to turn into 50. And now we're ready to subtract the hundreds place numbers. 500 minus 200 is 300. 500, 400, 300. Great job, boys and girls. Now let's make those numbers bounce back together. Remember, if you underline the hundreds place number, the tens place number, and the ones place number, those are the only numbers that you're going to write when you change this when you change this back from an expanded form number into a standard form number. So boys and girls, our final answer is 356. And your explanation should look something like this. My equation was 641 minus 285 equals 356. I used the expanded form strategy. In the ones place, I had to regroup a tens to the ones place. So 11 ones minus five ones was six ones. In the tens place, I had to regroup a hundred to the tens place. 130 minus 80 was 50. Last, I subtracted my hundreds place numbers. 500 minus 200 was 300. My final answer was 356. Boys and girls, now it's your turn. Get a clean sheet of paper or use the back of the paper that you are writing on now. Copy down your equation for today that you will solve on your own. After you solve it, explain your answer and then take a picture and send it to your teacher. You can text it to me or have your parent email me your answer. Do you have the problem written down? Great job. Remember, boys and girls, we've worked with base 10 blocks and the expanded form strategy to add and subtract. When you're finished with your problem for today, you can keep on having fun with math using your Volume 1 math workbook, choosing one or two pages from the pages listed here. After that, you can work online with Moby Max or Freckle. Remember, the links are on Mrs. Hefner's blog. See you next time.